Firstly, how excited are you to be on this this history making event? Oh, like you say, history making event, all women card. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Women's sport, women's boxing especially is progressed amazingly the past few years, especially the past 12 months, what Boxer and Sky have done, and uh, I'm absolutely honoured to be part of it. And by the, before we start, sorry, have you got yeah. a spare bobble for Crawler here? Look at this, he's, <laughs> he's struggling. I only have one, my hair's not that uh, thick. <laughs> still look after yourself. Georgia, we spoke off camera about, like, so has been you and your dad every step of the way. What does it mean to, again, have him by your side for such a big card on Saturday night, and listen in the future, we always spoke about, you want to be champion at multiple weights. What does it mean for you Saturday nights so if you done by your side on such a huge card? Do you know what it means? Everything to me. I could, uh, I could cry thinking about what my dad's ah. done for me. And uh, yeah, ever since I was a baby, he's never left my side, nurtured me, you know, instilled morals into me, taught me not just boxing, but about life itself, how yeah. to handle things. Um, now with him and my coach, Mark Lazell there, I believe I can take on, yeah. take on anyone and be successful. Everyone has disappointments, George, you know, that you're part of GB, then you had a bit of a lung problem and you've had massive setbacks, really, haven't oh, you? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Does this make it all the sweeter when you're on the Thames, sailing down the Thames towards this big event at the weekend? Yeah, I mean, last year, um, as you know, uh, I suffered blood clots in each lung. I went to bed thinking I wasn't going to wake up. I got told by the doctors if I'd left it any longer, to go in hospital, I'd have been dead. Wow. Wouldn't be here, I'd have been dead 21. So when things like this happen, it just makes me appreciate it more. Obviously, I'm not glad that I was ill. No one wants that. No one wishes that on themselves. But it's made me appreciate the little things in life so much. And the big things like this is just makes me so happy. I feel like I've been at the lowest point in my life, in my life, and I'll never get that low again. So I'm just enjoying the ride. And uh, any adversities that come my way, I believe I'll get through. I've already got through the worst. So what's anything else? Georgia, you mentioned them before. You're a welterweight, floating between yeah. that and super welter. World titles, I'm up for weights is the aim. There was a great world title fight on Saturday, Natasha Jonas. What fighters around the UK or in the world boxing, you know, women's like, are you looking up to? Are you looking to emulate? Are you, who do you take, like, favourite fighters to watch? Who is it? Um, I love watching boxing in general, you know, yeah. from the males like Vassal Lomachenko, Golovkin. Yes. I like different boxers for different reasons. I think every yeah. fighter has their own unique story, yeah. don't they? And I admire them for that as well as the boxing skills. In terms of females, um, I know they don't like each other, but I do like Clarissa and Savannah. Yeah. Clarissa's came from nice such a large. dark place. Yes. I resonated yeah. a bit with her, like dark times and things yeah. and overcoming adversity. And um, Savannah, just because she's so chilled, laid back, and she's such a nice girl, you wouldn't yeah. think she was a boxer, and I like yeah. that. Tell us a bit about yourself. You're from County Durham, obviously. You're not yeah. exactly from the, the most obvious places when it comes to boxing. It's yeah. a tiny village, is that right, where you're actually from? It's basically one street, yeah, called yeah. Quebec. Really? Yeah, and if anyone asks where I live, I say Quebec, they go, oh, is that in Canada then? <laughs> you know. uh, yeah, it's just one street, it's full of old people and sheep, to be honest. But um, And fires. Yeah, well, just me, just me for now. But <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm blessed to live where I do. It's quiet. I, um, I've got my training and stuff, I play guitar and sing in my spare time. I'm uh, doing a civil engineering degree. I've got a lot of things in my life going well for me, so hopefully one of them will take off and I hope it's a boxing. <laughs> After, I mean, boxing obviously is, the, is the, at the forefront of your mind now. I'm not getting yeah. away from that, but you know, it's a short career, you're very young. It's music and maybe civil engineering, are these serious ambitions as well? A million percent. My parents always told me, you know, never just have a plan A. Yeah. You can put everything into a plan A and then it can fall apart. I, I go out tomorrow, God forbid, and get run over, and then, then what, you know? It's important, I think, to have multiple passions. I've got a passion for boxing that keeps me in shape, uh, keeps me on the right track. I've got a passion for music that keeps me creative and keeps me keeps my mind ticking over. And I've got a passion, well, not so much passion, I'm more interested in the money to, to, to be made from it. But engineering, you know, that's like academic yeah. side of things and keeps my mind going. So, yeah, I think it's important to have a few different things to do in life. And then, you know, if one thing fall, falls apart, it's not the end of the world. You can always pick something else up. Georgia, for you, at the minute now, I know you're not going to start sort of talking titles just yet, but what's the aim for you? Is it just to be active as possible, keep learning, great sparring up and down the country? Is that the aim? Yeah, 100%. I think the most important thing is just to enjoy it all. Yeah. Uh, I've not been as active as, I've li as, as I'd like to be, um, but I do believe as long as I'm promoted correctly, I get regular fights, I'm active, I don't let that ring rust settle in. Yeah. Um, I do believe I'll be a multi-weight world champion. Brilliant. Final one. Just gives you predictions for the two co-main events. You know, when I give one for the main, yeah. I uh, but going, yeah, give no, us a I'll both. Get, uh, to be honest with you, the co-main event, uh, Baumgartner and is it Maya? Maya, Maya yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know too much about either fighters, so I don't want to comment on that. I'm not going to like yeah. pretend that I know a lot about them. I don't. Main event. Um, 
at first I was like, yeah, Savannah's going to knock her out and stuff. But I think how confident Shields is, you know, I think she, uh, yeah. she I think she's there to win. Like, I think I think either yeah. Shields points or Marshall uh, late KO. Right. Lovely. So, Wish you all the best. Good thank luck you very on Saturday. Much. Enjoy the occasion. Lovely talking to you guys. Bye thank bye. you. Bye thank bye. you, Georgia. Thank you very much. Are you far from the Italy? Are you far from the Eastern, isn't it? Ah, I'm like west. Oh, you west, right, right. Canada's okay. Oh, does that? Italy's a mad old town.